Yo, what's up guys, it's me, it's me, it's the Action Figure Freak once again. Today I get a little different video, it's the SH Figure Arts Sakura Haruno. Uh, I hope, I hope you all are interested in this. If you get distracted because it's just Sakura, I'm going to just put some figures in the background. So yeah, you get something important to look at. But I, I would say let's just don't waste too much time and just rip this thing open. Okay, welcome back to the channel everyone. As you can see with the Naruto card packs, uh, I bought a few SH figure arts Naruto figures. We already opened the Shippuden, uh, Naruto and Sasuke. I think these are pretty new. Uh, so yeah. The least favorite out of these three is Sakura and yeah, I had to get her uh, since I got the other two. And yeah, she was pretty cheap. I think she's not really thought after. Uh, yeah, and now it's time to get this one behind us. Uh, comment please which one to open next. Kid Sasuke, Kid Naruto or Kakashi. I would go for Kakashi first, I think, but it depends on you. Whoever writes me the, a comment with, yeah, open that one, open that one, with the most, uh, yeah, with the most guys who ask for will be opened first. But yeah, let's <laughs> just get this behind us. It's it's just Sakura, okay? Okay, like always, let's just start first up with the articulation. Uh, starting off with the head, we get that dot on top with a neck joint, which is pretty awesome. Her shirt kind of limits the neck articulation, but that ain't too bad. She still can look in mostly every direction. Let me just fix the light a little bit. Yeah, look at this. Uh, then we get these uh, SHF butterfly joints. Uh, I still... <laughs> Don't really get these. Uh, you can do a lot with these, but I'm still too stupid for these. Um, they are also a little stiff, but the whole part with the stiffness is here. The shoulder raise on the sides. So that arm is really stiff. I, I don't know why. And the thing is, I thought these would have all the same articulation, uh, which they kind of have. But with the female figures, I think they had to redesign the ball joint. As you can see here, it's two-sided. Uh, and the joint ain't hidden inside of there. Probably because it could break. But I mean, we still got ball joints on here. I'm happy. Then we got double jointed elbows. And the triceps part here of the elbow it's also a little stiff. I really don't get why, but uh, she got double jointed elbows. The right arm has the same issue. Holy shit! Yeah, that's that's a little bad, but not too bad. Uh, for the hands, we get the normal SHF articulation, so can decide if vertical or horizontal, which is also pretty awesome. And yeah, then we get this upper. Uh, ab crunch part here, breast crunch, <laughs> whatever, and a lower one. The thing is, you can't really swivel that to the sides. It's only in these big movements here. So you can't really pull it, can't pull it, can't pull it, and then it snaps to the side. So they kind of made the mold a little bit wrong, I think. I'm not too sure what they did, what's the issue, but... It can't really go to the sides that much. Feels like breaking it. Uh, the skirt looks really awesome. So really, that's that's the most toyetic thing about this figure. Uh, for the legs, let me just swipe that up. Yes, we got the pretty normal leg articulation. Uh, no high and low parts here. Swivels here on the upper leg, which is pretty good. Double jointed knees. Okay, the lower knee is not too stiff, no problems, no shin swivels. Oh, oh yes, we got shin swivels directly over the feet. Awesome. Vertical hinges on the feet as well as swivels there too. 
and the toe joint, which is pretty awesome. Okay, a lot of talk about nothing, but here we get a lot of accessories. As you probably see, the box of the Sakura Shippuden figure is way smaller, so she doesn't really have that much accessories like the other figures. But I think it's still fine. Let's just start off with a switching of the face plates. And does it work as? Yes, it's exactly like on the Sasuke figure. We get those faces with a big ass forehead. And then we got a hair piece. And you kind of stick the face onto there. And you stick the hair on top of that. Uh, on the Naruto it's, it was pretty cool. You can just slide the head uh, or the face into the head. And we got as on mostly every SHF figure. A piece of hair hidden under the main hairline. So you can still make it look pretty real if you change the face direction. So one piece is on the neck joint, one on the head joint. Really awesome. Okay, let's start off with the goofy ass uh, rage face. So almost every of these SHF Naruto figures got one of these faces, but I mean she does it a lot of times. So that's pretty fun to have in there. Uh, okay, that, that feels like I'm loosening the joints here. Sasuke figure got a little loose on the face plates, but not too bad here. Let's take out the next one. It's more like an aggressive face. So that's also pretty awesome. I really like how they print these faces on there. So you, you have so much action, so much emotion in there. I think uh, not really any other action figure studios uh, can make these facial expressions that good. So let's go over to the next one. That should be, yeah, a little happy face. She has a really toddler face. That's a real toddler face, for real. <laughs> but yeah, here, thankful, happy face. Yeah, we didn't die in war, awesome. Uh, <laughs> now let's rebuild everything and cry about uh, everything is bad. <laughs> Nah, let's see, the last one is just a little mean face, nothing too much detailed, but yeah, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty okay, I like that. But let me put on the normal face again, and here we got it, yeah, yeah, let's, let's move on. Next part is the effect pieces. There's such a lot of effect pieces. It's that one here. We got no more. Yes. Let's put her aside. Let's just let you take a look at this. It's not like the Shidori on the Sasuke figure. So you're supposed to stick the fist through this. Uh, on the Sasuke you could uh, pull it onto the fist or hand joint. So that's pretty awesome. But that's also not too bad, sticks pretty good in. Let's do a quick pose like this. I mean with a mean face it would probably look way better. Uh, but yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much the effect piece. Looks pretty good, I like it. But let's move on onto the hands. So this is pretty much everything for today. I. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Sakura too much. Uh, let's just see the last few things I have to say about her. Uh, even though I don't really like the figure because a lot of stuff is not that good. A lack of accessories, uh, the movability sucks a little bit. As I said, it's stiff on a few parts and here the butterfly joint is pretty loose in there. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff I really admire on this figure. Uh, around here we get that little shade effect that doesn't only look like it. Uh, it's actually there. Looks awesome. On the back side we got a white circle. Also nothing too much. But as I said, uh, here the zip is pretty good made. But the zip tie here on her skirt. I think that one is way way better. Really like that one. 
uh, here also the belt buckle here on the sides that's that's really good sides here are molded with small lines in there we got a shuriken part here why didn't they put in some shuriken goddamn nah. <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much everything for today if you want to get this figure uh, I gotta say just if you're a collector. If you just want to have a few items of Naruto, just get Naruto and Sasuke or maybe the kid forms of them. But leave her out. Uh, if you're a real collector, a real one, if you really try to get a lot of Naruto stuff together, yeah, it's a core piece. You need it, kinda. If you have the Naruto and Sasuke already and you just still want to uh, smash out some money, destroy some money of yours, then this is the one to go, but I wouldn't recommend it if you just want a regular uh, get this. It's just pretty cheap, so that's mainly the reason, and yeah, now I'm the action figure freak, I, I had to complete my Shippuden set of the big three. So yeah, that was pretty much everything for today, I hope you just got an awesome day. Yeah, and now it's time to say, action out!